Tayari mheshimiwa Hassan Ali Joho yuko hapa. Asante sana kwa kuweza kufika na pole kwa msongamano ndio jiji letu hili. <laughs> Kwanza kabisa mkutano umefanyika, umekamilika baadhi ya maazimio ambayo mmekuja nayo kwenye mkutano ule mheshimiwa moja kwa moja ni mambo gani hasa? Tumefanikiwa kwanza tulikuwa tunaita wagombeaji wa viti katika uh, viti tofauti tofauti uh, in our coalition and our partners. Mm -hmm. So tumepata wagombeaji wengi sana. Mm -hmm. And I Masaya was pleasantly surprised nimepata kuona uh, watu takriban 10000 na ambayo wanataka viti katika uh, mrengo huu ambao tunakuja pamoja. Mm -hmm. So kwangu mimi ni mafanikio makubwa mm -hmm. kwamba tumewapa ujumbe ambaye tunataka warudi nao mashinani mm -hmm. umuhimu wa kuandikisha kura na kutafuta kura pale zilipo na usimamizi wa, wa msimamo wetu wa kisiasa na paka siku ya kupiga kura. Kwenye usimamizi kwenye swala la kura hapo ndio mara nyingi ODM melaumiwa kwamba huwa mm. mnapiga kelele lakini hamua shauri wa wafuasi wenu waende wajiandikishe kura. Kura zinaanza tarehe 16 mwezi huu siku ya Jumatatu na itakuwa kipindi cha mwezi mmoja. Ujumbe wako maalum kwa wafuasi wenu wote na wakenya kwa ujumla. Nimewaambia wakenya wote wana majukumu ya kidemokrasia kuchagua uongozi ambao uta, utapeleka serikali kwa matakwa ya wananchi. Mm -hmm. So for us ni kwamba tumeona tupeane ujumbe muhimu kwamba ukikaa nyumbani na usipige kura mm -hmm. na usiandikishe kura is as good as kupigia mpinzani uh, kwa sababu hukupiga kura atakaipiga na utapata uh, viongozi mm -hmm. na ukipata viongozi wataenda kwa minaji ya mambo yao ambao walikuwa wanayataka na agenda yao hivi sasa mnakwenda kwenye kura ya mchujo kuchagua mgombea mmoja tu yes. kama odi muko tayari kwa yoyote ule ambaye atakaye well, pata... mazungumzo mazungumzo yameanza na we have encouraged wale viongozi wetu kwamba wakae wazungumze uh -huh. na na imani kutakuwa na mawiano kwenda mbele kwa sababu wote wametoa commitment ya kwamba wako na nia mm -hmm. ya kushikana mm -hmm. na Mungu atawapatia uwezo wa shikane almuhimu tupeleke jubilee nyumbani mheshimiwa umekuwa na tofauti kubwa kati yako usimamizi wako katika kaunti ya Mombasa na serikali kuu kwa nini inakuwa hivi first of all let me say i don't report to anyone serikali ya county government ya Mombasa is not a department kwa national government sisi ni serikali ambayo tumepigiwa kura na wananchi wa Mombasa kwa mipango ambayo tumewawekea watu wa Mombasa. Mm -hmm. So therefore I am not in competition uh, na wala si report kwa mtu mimi. Mm -hmm. Mimi na report kwa wananchi wa Mombasa. Mm -hmm. So therefore hakuna ushindano. I'm not going to waste my time kushindana na mtu. Kauli ulizozitoa wakati mheshimiwa rais akiwa kule kuzindua ama kulifungua lile daraja kivukio kile pale. Kauli ulizozitoa bila shaka zilizua msisimko. Wengine wakasema ni kama we ni mjeuri. Kwa... Hakuna ujeuri. Unajua let me tell you. Kama kusema ukweli ni ujeuri basi kila mtu ana, ana, ana njia ya kutathmini uh, mazungumzo yanavyoyataka mm -hmm. lakini mimi nimesema and i'm going to repeat it here today nimesema pale kwamba mradi ule ulifanyika and i must remember nilikuwa mbunga kisauni mm -hmm. so niliona ukianza mwaka Kwanzia wa mbili, wa county council mwaka elfu mbili na kumi. Mm -hmm. na mradi ule unaitwa Kenya Municipal Program you tell me municipality gani ambayo ina run sasa Hakuna. Hakuna. Mm -hmm. So ule mradi ulikuwa unasimamiwa na Municipal Council of Mombasa at that time mm -hmm. funded by the World Bank. Mm -hmm. The only thing I said and some people ambao wanaambia ni apologize hata nashangaa wanaambia ni apologize kitu gani. Mm -hmm. Nimesema kwamba huu mradi ni wa zamani umethaminiwa uh, umedhaminiwa mm -hmm. na World Bank mm -hmm. from the, their program in 2010. Mm -hmm. We only want to see miradi ya serikali ya jubilee and i think I, i have the right to demand that on behalf ya watu wa Mombasa mm -hmm. i am not i'm not going to uh, to apologize to anyone over that remarks leo pia uh, nelson maro ametpaza kauli yake kuhusiana na swala hili la ulinzi ulitolewa walinzi jana serikali ikawaruka kurudishia walinzi leo wewe pale umeusikika ukisema kwamba hutaki walinzi wa serikali ni manzo, my brother uh -huh. ni kwanza ni uongo kwanza hakuna walinzi ambao warudisha kwangu kwanza haujarejeshwa walinzi sijarudishwa walinzi lakini nataka kusema hivi mm -hmm. kwa heshima na tahadhima with a lot of humility mm -hmm. hii kitu kwangu haikutokea kwa mara ya kwanza leo imetokea awali uh, sasa ni mara ya pili mwaka jana nakumbuka mzozo i want, I want us to do the country a favor hii nchi inahitaji mazungumzo muhimu zaidi uh -huh. ya mambo of matters national interest mm -hmm. to watch mazungumzo ya usalama i have said see i will not ask i don't want to ask i don't even want to talk about it mm -hmm. sitaki huo usalama nimeweka maisha yangu kwa mikono ya Mwenyezi Mungu Mwenyezi Mungu ndo anaamua siku ile kama maisha yataisha yataisha hakuna binadamu mwenye uwezo wa kuchukua binad, maisha binadamu mwingine mpaka mm -hmm. Mwenyezi Mungu akitaka mm -hmm. so mimi nasa, nataka kusema tu ya wache mazungumzo whether regulation sijui apoya askari ngapi please do me a favor 
do not give me the security. Let us kill the conversation. Let us move forward to onge mambo ambayo yataboresha maisha ya watu na yatapatia watu maisha. Twende kwenye mambo yanaoboresha maisha ya watu wa Mombasa na Kenya kwa ujumla. Mombasa ni kivutio cha utalii. Hivi sasa pia unapigwa vita kuhusiana na wasimamizi wale waelekezi katika barabara wanajulikana kama traffic marshals katika kaunti ya Mombasa. Kauli yako ni ipi wakati ambapo serikali Nimekwambia mimi si report kwa mtu. I don't report to an individual in national government. We are not a department within the national government. We are a county government. So therefore, we run programs ambazo zitaboresha maisha ya watu wetu. We have said, zamani it used to take people one hour to two hours kutoka nyali paka kuja njini. Mm -hmm. We have been able over the period to reduce hiyo paka dakika 20, dakika 15. Mm -hmm. We are doing that for the people of Mombasa, mm -hmm. not for the national government agents that are in Mombasa. So tutafanya hiyo kwa sababu ya watu wa Mombasa. And I will mm -hmm. not stop. Mtu ambaye anataka nimeambia hao askari you go there direct traffic wacha magari yaende mm -hmm. watu wende kazini wote wende nyumbani mtu akitaka kushika akushike akupeleke kotini na aweke sababu msingi za kukupeleka kotini but we will not be intimidated tuko pale purely purely ku onyesha magari yaende njia gani na kwa haraka watu wende nyumbani so hao mengine yote kizungumzo unajua first of all wanaozungumza hawa ndio wenye wenye nini serikali na vyombo vya usalama ni vyao. Why go talk about it on TV? TV itakusaidia nini? Kama mimi ni muhalifu si unishike kesho nipeleke kotini. Mm -hmm. Kama kuna wahalifu katika katika uh, inspectorate there is a way you can uh, go and arrest them if you if you if you have to kama wamfanya wahalifu. Jambo ambalo shaifanyika katika Uwezi kusema let me give you an example. Uh -huh. Sasa hivi kuna watu na mfano and I, I I'm saying here I've never had a case kwamba kuna mtu ambaye ame ameshtakiwa na mtu fulani na hatuwe kuchukuliwa there are cases one or two ambaye mimi mwenyewe nimeelezwa mm -hmm. ya harassment that have taken action juu ya nini lakini you can't tell me tutafanya fanyeni wewe ndio polisi wewe ndio nini what are you waiting for mheshimiwa mwisho kabisa kabla tujaondoka siwezi kukuacha bila kuuliza swala la ufisadi Mm -hmm. swala la ufisadi hasa katika kaunti yako mheshimiwa Hassan Omar alijitokeza na kusema kwamba kuna ufisadi unaoendelea siju utajitetea vipi na swala sina la kujitetea kwa sababu let me tell you I, I, first of all as a matter of principle i don't want to respond to anybody that's not my style of politics wao wana haki ya kusema wanayosema but my advice uh -huh. ni kwamba if you have evidence against anybody including myself uh -huh. uh, matters to do corruption ufisadi Ndiyo. please usisumbue wananchi na mazungumzo mengi Nenda either CID or EACC mm -hmm. peleka huo ushahidi na hatua muafaka zichukuliwe. Mimi mwenyewe or any officer under the county government Ndiyo. hawezi kulindwa ama kuwa protected na ufisadi. So I urge everybody. By the way, siasa unfortunately njia hiyo. And I expect kwamba watu watu ambao wananipinga watasema kila ina jambo. But it's, it's, it's their freedom. Let them say what they want. Mombasa pia kuna wale wanasema mji kidogo hauridhishi usafi wake mheshimiwa kuna malori ambayo yametapakaa na mwagawa mwagawa taka haitoi picha nzuri kwa mji wa Mombasa I can tell you today it's a good question you've asked me and nataka niseme even me I have acknowledged before it may not be the best of the solutions naomba uzungumze Kiswahili mheshimiwa nasema hata mimi na na acknowledge uh -huh. sio suluhisho ambalo ni the best uh -huh. lakini kwamba Takataka, we have started programs. We want to educate people from the household. Takataka must be managed kwanza kutoka kwa, kwa nyumba. Wakazi wenyewe kwanza. Tuanze na hapo. Tuki, sisi tutaka complement ile usafi ambao unaanza kufanya majumbani. Mm -hmm. Lakini sasa ni kuulize Alimanzu kama wewe unangoja gari lipite, utupe chaka barabarani. Do you expect kwamba manispa I'm a county government official. I'm whoever is responsible. Mm -hmm. Atakuwa kila dakika ukitupa anafagia, ukitupa anafagia. Tumnawaomba watu wa Mombasa tafadhali tusaidiane. Hata kuanzia nyumbani panga taka tutakuja kuchukua kwa sababu ya njia ya kutupwa sio mzuri ndio maana tume station trucks. But I can tell you tuna mipango mikubwa ya kuondoa hizo trucks but when wafanyi, wakazi wa Mombasa mm -hmm. wako ready ku manage taka taka kuanzia nyumbani mm -hmm. paka sisi kama county hiyo tuzichukue na tusitupe mahali ambapo panastahili lakini ukiwa unatupa kiovyo hovyo we have to find a way to kumbuka hayo kwanza lazima yaanzie upande wenu mheshimiwa kutoa ushauri wa namna wa kusimamia taka taka kutoka Tunafanya nyumbani hivyo. sub county administration maiko. ya county government of Mombasa Aha. hata hivi leo Aha. ilikuwa na mkutano katika mitaa na tumepata hata sponsors tumepata sponsors ambaye wameweka bidhaa za kufunga taka taka kutoka kwa nyumba kwa sababu nitakwambia ushauri wangu 
Dubai, Singapore, mm -hmm. uh, or London haitwi safi kwa sababu kuna wafanyikazi wa baraza wana wanachukua takataka taka every minute mm -hmm. inaitwa safi kwa sababu inaanza usafi kuanzia nyumbani paka njia ya kutupa takataka taka. asante sana mheshimiwa ingawa umechelewa lakini sana sana asante sana kwa kuweza kufika kama ungekuwa traffic marshal za Mombasa kidogo <laughs> asante sana kwa kuweza kufika mheshimiwa Hassan Ali Joho na kila laheri katika juhudi zako za kusafisha kwanza mji na pia kusafisha swala la ufisadi na kila kitu i am sure watu wa Mombasa wananisikiza tushirikiane kuanzia nyumbani ku manage taka zetu mm -hmm. sisi tutafanya jukumu letu wananchi wafanye jukumu lao ili mji wetu uwe safi kwa sababu mji wetu ni majukumu yetu tosha hapo asante sana mheshimiwa kwa kuweza kufika mtazamaji kufikia hapa hatuna la ziada tulimgojea lakini hatimaye alifika haya ndio wale ambao niliweza kumuuliza siku ya leo kwa sababu ya muda basi hatutoweza kuendelea nafikia hapa tamati yangu kesho pia ni siku naomba tukutane tena ni temanzu kwa heri